Hey, anybody here? So I'm looking at all these rings, looking for marks. I don't see a mark here. There, somebody just ding donged me. Sorry, I've been selling stuff all morning, so I was trying to uh, make sure I didn't have. Who's here? Who's here? This one here is an adjustable ring. So, um, y'all know I'm always talking about my silver guy. Although my silver guy doesn't know he's my silver guy. He just knows he sells silver. Because he sells it on Etsy and eBay and all that. So, any of y'all could buy silver from my silver guy. All you got to do is search for silver lots, silver wholesale lots. So, I buy from the same guy. I've been buying just mixed lots. Hey, Kim VZ, how are you? I've been buying just mixed lots of mixed things. And, um... He offers a ring lot, and I've been wanting to try it, so I ordered it. It um, I got 12 rings in the lot. It was a good lot. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to start with the natural stone rings. These are not signed, but every one of them, all of all of the rings tested positive for silver. Y'all know I test everything that comes through my doors for silver, so anyway so we'll start with the natural stones and this one is labradorite of some i'm pretty sure this one looks like uh lapis lazuli this one here looks like a jasper and i'm not sure about this one if you guys have any ideas on this purple one but they're all pretty let's see what they they measure size wise Oh, there's one more natural stone one, too. I don't want. Okay, this one's a six. It sure felt bigger than a six. It looks bigger than a six, too. Let's see. Oh, I guess it is. Anyway, a six. This one is a seven and a half. This, um... I get one. It's a seven and a half. It's real pretty. Almost looks like picture I get. Oh, Jasper. Picture Jasper is what it almost looks like. I, I bet it's a Jasper. This one here is a six and three quarters. This lapis lazuli. It is gorgeous. Here, I like that one real well. Hey Jude. And then this one that is the Labradorite. Or it looks like a Labradorite to me is right at a six. So let's just see. Yep. That isn't that pretty. It's got some major flash in it. Look at that. That. So, Jude, what do you think this one is? What do you think that one is, this purple one? You think it's an amethyst with some host rock or what? And then there's, let's see. I ran out of fingers. Let me take my pinky thing off. Here we go. Let's swap. There. You get the amethyst. So those are the four stone rings that are all made just alike. And I really like this lapis lazuli one. I may have to test run it for a while. So I got 12 total rings. Hey Jen, 
I got 12 total rings. And, uh, yeah. And I paid $75. I'll tell y'all how many. I don't care to tell you. Now, this one here, I don't know what it is. But I am in love with this ring. And, yes, it fits there. But it won't fit over here. Oh, it will fit there. Just a little bit. Chevron amethyst. Oh, cool. Okay, hold on. Look at this. It was a little top for that finger. Look at that. I don't know what that is. I've never seen such. Come on, focus, focus. Focus. There you go. At first, I thought it might be Bumblebee Jasper. But then, when you look in it, some of this um, has, like, some opalescent looking to it. But I love it. I don't know what it is. What do y'all think? What do you think? What do you think? Isn't that gorgeous? That's the only bad thing when you buy rings like this in bulk is you don't get a you don't get a a list that tells you what. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Look at the back. Let's see. This is the back of it. I don't know, but I like it. It does, if, if you've ever seen, you love the shape of the Labradorite, yeah. I wish it wasn't so teeny tiny. If you've ever seen uh, Bumblebee, yeah. If you've ever seen Bumblebee Jasper, it comes in all kinds of forms. And I have one that's very similar to this. So it may be Bumblebee Jasper, I'm not sure. Then the rest of them are just... Oh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this one here is black spinel. Oh, and it's tiny. It's, I was hoping it might fit my, I'm pretty sure that's black spinel because, look, I have it beside my spinel ring and it has the same kind of flash. So I'm pretty sure that one's black spinel, but it is teeny tiny. <sighs> Right at a size five. I really need at least a five and a half for to wear as a pinky ring. Although I can get it on, but it would be ooh, that's pretty. Pretty sure it's black spinel. Black spinel has that shine to it. I love that. Mm. She grunts as she pulls it off. This is cool. Like a, the pearl is real. It's like a bypass ring. See how it doesn't meet there? And so then you would put it on and squeeze it however tight you need. It's kind of cool, isn't it? I like that. Even though I don't like pearls, I like that. Oh. And this one is neat. This one is probably about a seven. Yeah. That. I think it's probably not a stone. I think it's probably enameled in there. But it is a sterling ring. Sterling. And this is cute. It is adjustable. Pretty sure it's a, a core ring. In fact, I have one almost just like it. Pretty sure it's coral. But it is adjustable. And it has no mark. Yeah, there's a mark in it. I was like, it has no marks in it, but there's a mark. Just mark 925. That's what most of them are. So, this one is gorgeous. Now, this one has a signature, 
and it has the same signature as this one and it's uli and i don't know who uli is but this one is big look at that and it is marked cz on the inside of it that is so pretty that one is probably about a 10 would be my guess as easy as it went on yep right at a 10. Yeah. Now about a nine and three quarters. I wear about a nine and a half here. So about a nine and three quarters. Hey Jennifer. I mean Carolyn. I said you I saw you say hey Jennifer. So about a nine, about a nine and three quarters. That's real pretty. I like that. But it says U L I. Hey in Margaret's group today was when the day that the pictures of all your stuff went up that I used. And then there's people posting the listings to their uh, to their uh, um, closing a. I saw some really pretty closing a pieces in there. And that one's pretty, and it's marked ULI. I really like that one. I think that's real pretty. So let me see. Oh, that didn't work. So I did not do jewelry hauls on these because I went through these things real fast. But I was just going to tell y'all, uh, I spent $174 Tuesday at the, let's see, that little flower one is an eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter, yeah, eight and a quarter. That one, is that what you were talking about? This one, this one right here, nine and three quarters. So, and the last one, and I figure it's about right at a seven, and it's real pretty too. I don't know what that green stone is. It's not Kelly green and it's not turquoise green. It's a little bit deeper than a mint green. So that's real pretty too. Let's see what we got here. That one is a seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. And I want to make sure. I think this one went no. No. Now, this one here has a little symbol down inside of it. Let's get out the L diamond tester. You haven't been in inside a store since pre-COVID. Anyway, I bought $174 worth of jewelry. I bought four jewelry jars. Four jewelry jars. Hold on. I'll show them all again. I bought four jewelry jars. Uh, three of them were $19.99. One of them was $14.99. Uh, I found the only thing that I found that was really awesome in them was I found a few sign pieces, but I found one pair of sterling earrings in there. We're ready. <clears throat> Sorry, I always like to have my reading glasses on so I can see these little stones. Because otherwise you touch the metal. Okay. They're obviously CZs because it didn't even do much of anything. So anyway so that's what I was trying to get hold on uh, that's not what I need Cindy what do you need <laughs> you need your password to get in here okay so these rings here 
I'll probably start most of them out at the $8 range. There might be a few that I start a little bit higher. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put them on all my fingers. She has rings and fingers. Rings and rings on her fingers. That one's a little too. There we go. I really love that one right there. That one's too small. That one's too small. That one's. Hold on. Right there. I'm running out of fingers, friends. I'm running out of fingers. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I ran out of fingers. Okay, here we go. Oops, I'm missing one more. There we go. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Yep. Twelve rings. So, yeah, I'll probably start these in the eight to ten dollar range. So, which ones did you miss? Now this one here is this one here is not part of it. That's, that's a ring I bought at Savers. <laughs> so I'll show y'all my Savers silver haul. I got some really cool stuff in it. Oh, I want to show y'all. Okay, so I've been a, doing a treasure box every week. I've been doing a treasure box every week. And so this week we're going to have two treasure boxes and they're going to be these little glass boxes. And so I've finished this one and there's 50 pieces of jewelry in it and two of them are silver. Okay. 50 pieces of jewelry. And there will be 50 pieces in there and two silver in it. Unless I decide to put some more silver in it. So I'll show you all some silver. I got now I bought this and it was supposed to be 14 karat gold it is not 14 karat gold but it is a real cameo it's not silver neither it is a real cameo you can see the carved marks on it and it will go in my collection it was bought for my collection so anyway and then I got this and it is a lizard and he's missing one little Marcus out in his tail, and he's got a Marcus out up here that's broke. And he has been offered to somebody. Then I got this lizard. And let's see, let me. And I paid $50 for four things. Uh, there's one more thing that I've already put away that. Um, I pay that I bought for a friend and I've already put it away. Let me stand up here. So I don't know why I got all dressed up today, but I got all dressed up. All kinds of silver stuff up here. I don't even know what all I have up here now, right now at this moment. I guess it really should pay to know what I have up here, shouldn't it? Um, is that silver? Yeah, that's silver too. Is that silver? No, that's not silver. That's um, that is a uh, oh, um, what is that? It's not silver. <laughs> I'm so silly. I have one shoe on and one shoe off. So. My, the top of my foot was itching, so I pulled my shoe off to scratch a minute. Okay, here and here and let's see. Can I go with that? Nope. 
on one, but it matches really well. They may need to go together. So, okay. Okay, I got these little aqua marine earrings, studs. They're silver. All this stuff has been tested, okay? These here are the ones I found in the jar. And when I pulled them out, and they still, to me, still look like they have a tinge to them. No, that won't that won't work. Where here this will work. And I think it's just that in my mind I see it like I seen it when I pulled it out of the jar. But I've polished at them. You know what? They are different earrings. Well they are different. Uh now that I look at them, they are different. So they're not a set, are they? They're not a set. Anyway, you've got these really pretty. I think you could wear them as a set. I mean, they match. They match in, but they're the, they're on different kinds of wires. I think maybe somebody traded out a wire. So, but you could wear them as a set. I'm going to sell them as a set, although that one still looks like it has a gold tinge to me. Maybe. I'll wear them. <laughs> I may wear them. So I'm going to put them over there and let them be iffy about. So, okay. So I bought I bought this to sell as a set. Okay. But I want to show you something. So I have these are definitely Malachite. And that, I don't think is Malachite. And I paid up for that. So I paid $15 for it. But I have this that I got from the silver guy that I haven't offered yet. That is Malachite. And I think I'm going to put it with it. What do y'all think? I love putting things together. It's like playing house. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll put those together. Let's see. Yeah, I paid $15 for that. I don't want to lose any of this. Now, this is a pretty set. And this is a set. And these, I believe, are marked Mexico. I believe these are marked Mexico. And I think they're... Blue lace agate is what I think they are. I think they're blue lace agate. And uh, you have a, you know, you have a pendant and a pair of earrings. The metals are different colors. What are meant? The metals are different colors on what? On the earrings, yeah, the metals are different colors on earrings. But I think the metals are pretty close on these. This one has a little bit of tarnish, but up here, give it a polish and we'll see. Let's see, and then this cute little bow ring. And he wasn't very much. And then I got these last week, and I didn't offer them during the during Monday. Not when I say last week, a week ago, Tuesday, I got these. And they're real pretty. And they may be signed Mexico, too. I'll have to look at them. Yeah, I believe they're signed Mexico also. Uh, they're signed Boco, B-O-C-C-O. -C -C Anybody know what B-O-C-C-O -C -C is? Boco? I've never heard of it. 
Anybody know? These, Jen, I believe the blue ace lace, I, the malachite, you think the malachites are different colors? The metals on the malachite. Jen, I believe these came out of the little treasure box that I got from you. And uh, I was trying to think. When I pulled them out, I thought, those are silver. Yeah. And they're marked 925. And I think these came out of that little treasure box that I got you. And I think they are little pieces of coral or spiny oyster. But I don't, I'm not sure. I think coral. And they're actually marked 925 up here on this part of the earring. Those are cute. They're little lever backs. I'm pretty sure those were in that that lot I got from the little treasure box that I got from Jen. Let's see. This was another thing that I got that I paid up a little bit for it. And uh, let's see. It says 925 uh, Mexico CL. <laughs> I thought that was kind of appropriate. I paid thirteen dollars for it. So I think you need to go play in the street if you're gonna talk like that. He's telling me it's BS. Shame on him. Anyway, all y'all see is the reflection of my ring light. Probably onyx. Not shiny enough to be black spinel. Let's see. I have all kinds of stuff over here. Now, these here, I have to retest them because I just had them laying in. And uh, I have some uh, something else to show you. Oh, and then this is a, this is a, Dend dendritic opal i had to think what it was called and it doesn't want to show the dendritic part here we go it is a dendritic opal you can there you go you see the see the little things in it and there you go in the back you can see and it is a pendant and it's a dendritic opal and that came in one of my lots from the silver guy And this is, anytime y'all see me have these, they come from the silver guy. This is a cubic zirconia sterling silver pear necklace. And it is that, Cindy has had this, Cleo brand. Um, anyway, now she's bought some of it from me, but she's had it before. before. In fact, I bought a ring from her that was that brand. So, anyhow, let's see, I have in my hands, can't remember if these are silver or not. They're in the silver drawer, so I'm assuming they are, and they are Labradorite. I will check them. Hey, Polly. I'm just doing a jewelry haul, so like that. And then I got this little necklace with these little fringes. Paid thirteen dollars for it too. Here we go. Cute little ball, brilliant cut ball with the little fringe. Really cute. And these came from the silver guy. And uh, I'm pretty sure these uh, these are Vermeil, but I'm pretty sure that these come from the shopping channel that I used to buy from because they come like they send them little blue sapphires, probably lab created. Any anyway, flowers, and they come in a bag and they're in separate. The, the jewelry's in separate parts. So, anyway, those may go in uh, 
one of these buckets. So this right here, this, this lazuli and that is real pretty together. Look at that. Those are pretty. What does, did anybody say if they knew what BOCO was? B-O-C-C-O. And then, I really, what do, you, what do you think this stone is? Do you think it's a malachite just cut from a different part? Or what? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But I've got a bunch of silver here. Oh, I wanted to show y'all what I got in the mail today. First of all, I got a check from Rakuten. <laughs> if, you do, if you do Rakuten, I got a check from Rakuten. If you don't know what Rakuten is, it's a website when you shop online. If they they give cash back. Anyway, I got a whopping $4.00. And uh, what four dollars and eighty six cents? But it's four dollars and eighty six cents. I didn't have is the way I look at it. How you think it's malachite, just a different cut? Okay. Um. You need to go back over there because you'll be part of the silver this week. Um. So I got friend mail from Mr. Mike, and he's so nice. Who sent me a turtle? I love turtles. And he's a magnet. So I just put him on my on my thing. And then he sent me a bunch of turtle earrings. Now I did put there were three pairs that were just alike, and I put one in each one of the treasure chests. But I'm sorry, I'm keeping all of the last ones. <laughs> Selfish like that. These are so cute. Uh-oh. He over there, didn't he? Come back here. There we go. I'm getting them all three out. Isn't it cute? And then we're going to get this one out. And I do have a bunch of turtles. A bunch of turtle earrings. But I didn't have any that had the sea glass. So here we go. So you've got, these are just, these here are just the little silver ones. Quit swinging, quit swinging, quit swinging. And then you've got the blue sea glass and the green sea glass. They're so cute. Those will be real cute this for this summer. So, yeah, I'm keeping those. And then I shared two of those in the in the little buckets. So, oh, I have to show y'all something. Hey, Mike, sea glass beads. Yes, I love the sea glass ones. Love them. Those I'm hoarding up, but I did share the three that were just alike. I shared shared them. So should put two of them in one in each treasure chest. So uh anyway, I have to show y'all something, okay? These are magnificent. And because they're so magnificent, I have to try to sell them, okay? I have to. It's just like there is a personal challenge. That says you must try to sell these, Cindy. Okay? You must. So these are Christmas themed. They have red and green and clear. Uh, and clear. Oh, you know what? It would be better if I put them on. Okay? Let me put them on right quick. Let's pull my ear bobs off. Do y'all wear ear bobs? 
Yes, that's sweet. I love the turtle magnet. That is cute. So we have taco Christmas earrings. And uh, yeah, they're going to be in the auction Monday night. There you go. Tacos. Tacos. Christmas. Oh my God, aren't they awesome? I have a really short neck, so I could never wear them, but I, I was just like, they're amazing. They're amazing. If Margaret found them, she would say, she would be, say it was a challenge to sell them. So I'm going to see if I can sell them in the auction. Aren't they just, like, and there's no missing rhinestones. That's what's amazing. There's no missing rhinestones. So amaze balls let's see i have on these red earrings but let's put on these blue ones anyway i loved them i'm i'm easily entertained y'all know that i'm easily entertained i love these little blue ones so here we go yeah mike i have a metal desk so Mr. Turtle, he needs a name. We need to name the turtle. He needs a name. What do y'all think? What do you think? He looks like a lot like Trevor Turtle from my book. Those are cute. I love those, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He does look a lot like Trevor from my book. Trevor Turtle from my book. He's so cute. Did you paint him too, Mike? He's adorable. Let's see. Those are mine. Those are mine. I always keep a stack of stuff going that's mine that has to go be put up. Those will be mine. Here. So, oh. Mike, you just came in. Let me show you. <clears throat> I got, um, I got a, uh, I got in a, a cameo yesterday okay I got all those in there I got in a cameo yesterday and uh, he was supposed to be 10 karat gold but he's not she's not but she is a carved cameo you can see you can see the carving on her when you look she's really pretty but she didn't test gold I was a little disappointed not because I want it, I mean, I, you know, when things are sold to you as something, you expect them to be that, but anyway, but because I love her so much, I'm keeping her, so. The KO lot on Facebook sell so yet? Oh, I don't know. It was way out of my league, way out of my league. <laughs> it was gorgeous. This one is really pretty. She's a pretty little cameo. Doesn't she faces to the left too? So really nice. Put that lizard in there. A cheap watch box to store your watches. Like a jewelry box kind of thing. Yeah, nice carved. Huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi, Judy. How are you? I just was showing all the rings and stuff and all the silver that I have. Uh, I just got in a lot of 12 rings. So we'll have rings and rings and rings. I've got some gorgeous rings in. So anyway, and they won't start real high, though. The rings should start around the eight to ten dollar range. So, uh, anyway, some of these sets will start a little bit higher, but not real high. So I try not to start it too high. I don't want to. But I, now, in my lots, in my jewelry jars, I come across this left-handed artist. I come across this set. <laughs> 
I was so disappointed. I only found one earring. So disappointed. And it's just a cheap china set. But it's so cool. Anyway. Uh, but I only did find one earring. But it's best. The best brand. But that's cool. So that'll go in a lot somewhere. And somewhere I have a floating around here I have a bag of single earrings that'll slide into oh that one is a that one's a silver L that I bought for for Cindy Lovin so anyway I think and I was showing the jewelry boxes these will be the jewelry boxes this week we have this one and it's already done I might put one more piece of silver in it anyway it has right now it has 50 pieces of jewelry in it does that got writing on it? Oh, it's got writing on that bag. The bag under it is the 925 bag. Anyway, and uh, the bottom of it is mirrored. The bottom of it is mirrored. I pulled these out of my booth yesterday when we went to the booth. And the bottom of it has a mirror on it. And let me show you something. These are these are uh, vintage. How long has it been since you saw a tag on something like that? Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. How long has it been since you've seen a tag on something like that? Those are definitely a little vintage. That's a definitely a little vintage box. This, this one here doesn't have one on it, does it? Nope, it don't have a Walmart. And this one here is an octagon. It has, looks like sticker glue on it. I'll have to wipe it down. Anyway, it's an octagon, and I've just started filling it. I've got to, <laughs> I've got to pull it out and recount it. I forgot how much is in it. So, anyway, but, yeah. So, that's what we're looking for. This coming Monday night. I've done got most of my jewelry. Oh, there. There's the taco bag. I've done got most of my jewelry pulled. Anyway. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, so that will be what we're doing. We've got, I've got some cool stuff. Look at this. I'm pretty sure this is plunder. You want to sell them? Isn't that pretty? And it has a hang tag that has a P. And I think that's the plunder P. But isn't that pretty? That is so cool. I really liked it. And it's in really nice shape. Anyway, I found some nice stuff. I mean, I found some cool, just cool stuff I bought off the shelf. So, yeah, I spent way too much money. So, Oh, yeah, they want to know, do you have any older 10 carat ones, Mike? And do you have the Three Graces cameo, yellow gold? I've got to go through mine and separate out what is actual carved shell cameos. Hi, did you come to say hi to your friends? Hey, where'd you go? I felt you. Roxy, where are you? There you are. Come here. Come here. Want to say hi? Want to say hi to the friends? Come here. Come here. Look, I'm not chasing. Oh, come here. Come here. Okay. You made me drop the whistles. Those are for children's church. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What did you do? What did you do? You're you're hiding because you're either afraid of something or is the cat after you? Are you in trouble? Is daddy after you? Come here. Come here. Come on, mama. You want up here? You want, he's being awful. You want up here? You want up here? Hi, darling. Hi, darling, he says. Hi, friends. I come to bite my mama. 
Oh, don't be shy. Say hi to the friends. Say hi to the friends. Say hi, friends. Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. Is there a kitty cat in there? Is Big Gray in there? Uh-uh. Quit being nosy. Nosy Rosie is, should be his name. Nosy Rosie. His name should be Nosy Rosie. Hi, Rusty. They say hi, Rusty. They say hi to the puppy. Oh, he likes when I hold him like this and start kissing on him right behind his ears. Him likes kisses behind the ears. Him a rotten puppy. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a mean mother, too. Ask my Jared. He'll tell you. Anyway, I, uh, because he'll, he'll slobber all over his toys and then he'll bring them and drop them on my face. So, uh, I'm real bad about hiding his toys. <laughs> So last night I opened up the, I have a stool that has a lift off lid and I opened it up and there were all of his toys. He was just amazed and he knows, he knows where I put some of them. And so sometimes he'll come in and he'll start whining and he'll stand and look, but he's getting better. I used to put it one on my, on my bedside table all the time and uh, he's got where now he'll just walk on my bedside table and get it. So. <laughs> So, anyway, put all this silver all here so that it'll be all together and I won't lose track of it. Let's see. I got to get my pieces of silver picked out for this. I think we'll put in this and this for this one. No, I know. We'll put in this and this. What did I do with it? There it is. I will pin those. Okay. Anyhow, so. Yeah, I love beautiful jewelry. Did you catch Angela Irene's uh, video yesterday that she done? She found nine. Nine closing A bracelets. They were gorgeous. Okay, wait. There's the other one of those. I need to test those again. Nine closing A bracelets. I was a little jealous because I never find closing A. So anyway, but yeah, just a little jealous. Not real bad, but just a little. So you need to go watch. You need to go watch. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Uh, you're looking for the three graces. I may have a three grace one. So I'll look. Jude, I'll look. I know I have several that have three on them. Uh, of course, they're not real cameos. They're, you know, rosin ones. So, let's see. That is silver. I can't remember. I hate when I can't remember things. Okay. Jen said she wanted that. So, I got to ship that to her. That goes in there. So, anyway. Yeah, uh, I'll look, Jude. Mm -hmm. He's definitely scratching like silver. I think he would be silver. He's not marked. Nope, not silver. Cats. Sure are pretty earrings. I guess I had them up there because they were Labradorites. So, uh, those are pretty. The sign that you go to McDonald's too much is when you have so many McDonald's napkins that you put them in your drawer to wipe your acid away. So, okay, those are so pretty. I really thought they were so well. I think we'll put them in one of these. Not. No. There we go. So, okay, guys, I'm going to say bye. I've been here longer than I meant to. I was supposed to be here just a few minutes and I'm here an hour. So, anywho, y'all have a good one. Happy weekend. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
I have a, a fake three graces. I have a lot of fakes. I actually need to do a new cameo haul because I have a lot more cameos now than I did when I first done my last cameo haul. So I have a whole lot more. So look at this little darling. Isn't it cute? Little poodle. The sad thing is, is it's missing a pen. Missing a pen. So, guess he'll go in a craft lot. Anyway, he's real cute. Okay, guys, I am going to say goodbye, and uh, I will talk to y'all later. I love my cameos, but I do not wear them. So, I've thought about getting rid of them, but where's the fun in that? So, anyway, besides, if I get rid of things, then my family won't have a mess to clean up when I die. So, anyway, that's what I'm always telling my mom about her junk, that she just collects it, so I'll have to clean it up when she dies. Oh, I did find a bunch of, uh, just seeing that made me think, I did find a bunch, of, oh, I won a silent auction at my uncle's church, and I got some vintage Coro stuff in that, but uh, what I'm looking for is, did I put it all up? No, I did not. There's one. I put one of them up. I won some, uh, I mean, I found some uh, faux tortoise shells, link, a link necklace that's really cool. I was going to show y'all this. Um, uh, let's see if I can find it. Here's that. There it is. This Coro pen that I won up at the church. And it's, there you go, in really good shape. It's a vintage pen. And it is signed Coro. Yep. And then I won this one here, and it is what are you what are you into, puppy? It is also signed Coro. Yes, I think. Let me make sure. Yes, it is also signed Coro, and it is a multi-strand necklace there and it has the little leafy thing there and let's make it long so it'll long long out oh so anybody besides me have barbie and ken withdrawals my week was off all week there it's really pretty so yeah every once in a while my mom messaged me and said hey they're having a silent auction up here to raise money to get new carpet or something like that so then there's some vintage jewelry up there this was another piece that was real pretty that was vintage looking just trying to think does it have a signature on it so this is real pretty. Oh, 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 Carolyn, are you still here? One of the things that I saw today that's listed that somebody shared in their listing is um, Cheryl Brewer had a, uh, a Cinnabar elephant that had closing A on the saddle thing on it in her Etsy store. So that's cute. It has a little resin, rosin, however you want to say it, resin rose and little glass beads no yeah little they feel like glass little glass beads so anyway so there will be awesome things and we're going to do something a little different uh the first half of the show we're going to do some uh bargain buys i'm gonna call it bargain buys and they're not going to be buy it nows but they're going to be fast and they're going to be cheap and we're going to do it quickly and go 
So the first half will be that. The first bucket, see I do buckets. The first bucket will be, each bucket has 25 things in it. The first bucket will be bargain buys. So I'm still weighing out how I want to do it. My hair is wonky today. How I want to do it, but I think that uh, I've got it figured out and we're going to do it quickly and hopefully we'll get through those real fast and and people will get some good bargains and I will get cleared out some of my some of my drawers in this because like my bracelet drawer is overflowing I have two unsigned necklace drawers that are both overflowing so I've got to get them done cleared out so I put my thing back in there and didn't put it up so so y'all all have a great weekend, and I will see y'all around, I'm sure. So, bye-bye. I'm going for sure this time. Bye.